Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we have an exciting project lined up. We will be showing you how to create your own RTMP SRT decoder using a Raspberry Pi and the Streamer US SRT player for our Pi. So, let's dive right in. We have chosen the Raspberry Pi 4B as the foundation for our decoder project. To simplify connections and enhance convenience, we have housed the Raspberry Pi inside the Argon 1 V2 case. If you're interested, you can watch our previous video showcasing the unboxing and setup of this case. Now, let's walk through the installation and setup process of the Streamer US SRT player for Raspberry Pi, ensuring that you are well equipped to get started with this powerful tool. Step 1. Download the SRTR Pi player, go to the Streamer US website www.streamerus.com. Locate the SRTR Pi player and download the disk image file suitable for your Raspberry Pi model, Pi 2, Pi 3 or Pi 4. Extract the zip file after download. Download and install Belina Etcher from website www.belina.io slash etcher if you haven't already. Belina Etcher promises to flawlessly burn operating system images to SD cards and portable media easily. Insert the compatible micro SD card into the card reader and connect it to your computer. Open Belina Etcher and select the SRTR Pi Player disk image file you downloaded. Choose the inserted micro SD card as the target device. Click Flash to burn the disk image onto the micro SD card. Wait for the process to complete. Once finished, safely eject the micro SD card from your computer. Insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Carefully insert the micro SD card into the slot until it is fully seated. In the next step, we will power up the Raspberry Pi by connecting it to a power source and establish an internet connection. Don't forget to connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI output port of the Raspberry Pi as well. Connect a monitor and power on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will boot up, and you will see a color bar screen indicating that the decoder is ready. Use any network scanning tool or check your router's connected devices list to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Open a web browser on a device connected to the same network as the Raspberry Pi. In the address bar, type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and press enter. The default login credentials are admin for both the username and password. Once logged in, you will see the dashboard or control panel of the SRTR Pi player. Look for the protocol section and enter the necessary information for the RTMP or SRT stream, such as the URL or server address, port number, and any required authentication credentials. Save the settings and press play to start the download process. Once the player successfully starts receiving the live feed, you will observe the dashboard displaying relevant information about the stream. This include details such as the streaming chronograph, bitrate, audio buffer, video buffer, etc., which serves as confirmation that the data is being downloaded and processed by the player. With its intuitive dashboard, the SRT RPI player offers a seamless user experience. Setting up the player is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few minutes, enabling you to start playing streams effortlessly. And that's a wrap on our installation and setup tutorial for the Streamer US SRT player on Raspberry Pi. We hope you found this guide helpful and informative. Now, with your Raspberry Pi equipped with the SRT player, you have the capability to decode various streaming protocols and create a robust contribution distribution network. Whether you're looking to display live feeds on multiple screens or distribute content to different geographic locations, the Streamerist SRT player has got you covered. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting tech tutorials. See you in the next video. Gadgets Pod. Understanding Technology.